Hey, what's going on? Patrick Halgren here. Uh, I believe you've seen my previous video, Chasing the Olympic Dream. Well, I caught that dream. Was uh, informed about a week ago that I'm going to the Paralympics in uh, Beijing, China, 2022. And uh, yeah, just living my dream and all the hard work has paid off. And yeah, I just couldn't, couldn't be more excited to uh, head over to China and represent my country. So I'm competing in the Beijing 2022 games. Uh, they'll be opening, I believe, March 4th is uh, when they when the Paralympics starts. So in in alpine ski racing, there's basically short turns to big long turns. There's uh, there's five events. There's slalom, giant slalom, super giant slalom, downhill, and then the super combined. And you basically have to use specific skis and the shorter turns you have to use shorter skis and they turn tighter and you have a turning radius for each ski and there's uh slalom skis giant slalom skis and then speed skis so you have to use those skis and they can only turn a certain turning radius and they'll do the gates around that turning radius distance so it makes it tough to try to make these gates at high speed so the slalom event that i'm doing in is uh, the tightest event. They're usually around 12, 13 meter gates. And uh, then the giant slalom's around 30 meters. And yeah, they're, those are the technical events, not the speed events. The speed events are Super G and Downhill. I won't be competing in those this year, but I will be competing in, yeah, men's standing slalom and men's standing giant slalom. It's gonna be awesome. The thing that really propelled me getting to this level was Getting, uh, getting over to Europe and competing against the best in the world and seeing that level of competition and really just adjusting myself and getting that hunger to try to strive to be the best and get better and break through some plateaus. You know, in, in North America, skiing, it's kind of it's kind of like soccer where over in Europe it's uh, taken much serious and there's more quality competition. So uh, getting over to Lillehammer, Norway for the World Championships uh, a couple weeks ago, which I lucky enough got to take part in and see truly the best in the world do their thing, that really propelled me to the next level to where I could crack uh, the podium at the North American Championships, taking me to get on the Paralympic team and go represent my country. Uh, my expectations for this Olympics, honestly, I was kind of, I've been, training and planning to go to the 2026 games in Cortina, Italy. That was always my plan. I just, I didn't think I'd be here this soon. I had a big, big knee injury three years ago and kind of derailed my, my progress and thought, just thought I wouldn't make any of the games or make it to Europe even. But um, yeah, it's all, it's all uh, on schedule, if not ahead of schedule. So I'm pretty excited and, you know, it seems like I'm learning how to ski pretty good now. So maybe even this year, maybe I could lay down, you know, a competitive run at the games and uh, just, yeah, I just want to get over there and see if I can compete with some of the best in the world, really. And who knows uh, what will happen, but either way, I'll have fun with it and it'll be a great experience for my future and hopefully maybe can help with some marketing or sponsors and you know the more support and help you have the easier it is to focus on just your sport and get good I you know it's not like I can do all these different things I really you know I want to be the best in the world I want to be part of that one percent so it's I really got to focus and stick my nose to the grind and yeah just get after skiing so I am here in Winter Park Colorado where I train full-time with the NSCD, the National Sports Center for the Disabled, probably the best ski team for training for the Paralympics in the whole world, maybe the universe. And, um, you know, for six years, I've basically been making this routine to be the best skier in the world, or the best that I can be at least. And that usually involves getting up pretty early, try to be up by six, uh, go to the gym by 6.30, and uh, getting a routine of getting some, getting a warm up, but basically some cardio and a little physical therapy. Being a ski racer, you usually are dealing with some sort of 
injury or you get hurt while training or pull a muscle or something. So usually past halfway in the season, you're, you want to be in the gym warming stuff up and getting stuff going. I get here, uh, the weekends, the lift opens at 8.30. Midweek, it's nine o'clock and we're on first chair. All the, co all the amazing coaches here go up, set a course for us to train on. We go down, we usually inspect it, like treat it like a race. You want to go down, look at the course, plan where to start your turn, what is going to be, you know, a tougher part of the course, all that stuff. And then you do a couple runs and then you want to take the first two serious because at a race, you only get two runs. And the first one, if you don't have a good run, your second one's not going to be good. So try to take that pretty serious. But then, you know, it's just about mileage, just getting these uh, 10,000 hours, as they say, and you just want to be training runs over and over and over and lucky enough to uh, have this beautiful mountain to train at. And then around noon, we'll uh, head in for lunch, maybe I'll have a coffee, and we'll go over the film. They'll film some of our runs. They'll tell us, you know, basically there's uh, where the technique is wrong, what we could work on. We go over that, which is a night and day difference that really helps us get a lot better because you're not going to invent some new way to ski. You know, one leg, two legs, or three legs, you know, it's all the same thing. Ski equipment works the same way, it always has. And yeah, so you just gotta, you gotta learn the technique and then you need to execute that technique. And I've been blessed here to uh, be able to do that free will. They close down runs for us and all the lifties, every, everybody working here is just so accommodating. And uh, the whole town really is, in you know, Winter Park is just amazing. This place is a dream for a disabled athlete trying to prove himself and make the Paralympics. My Instagram handle is powercasa32. Um, Patrick Halgren on YouTube. I got a couple videos, Three Limbs Living, Broken Famous. Uh, I got a GoFundMe. Um, you could just look up my name, Patrick Halgren, and uh, you know anything helps. And even just you know watch me this year uh, at the Paralympics. I need all the support I can get. I'm trying to beat uh, beat the best in the world. So, you know, I can feel the love for my hometown, Tallinn, Connecticut, and Winter Park and Queenstown, New Zealand. All you guys, I I appreciate the support and it is much needed. So keep sending it my way. I can feel the love and thank you so much. I appreciate all of you.